today. Yeah. I was having some fun. <laughs> Trying to fool you guys. Not etched in stone? Nothing's etched in stone when you have to win every game. So. Would there be a reason to kind of try to get one line going, even though you got, you know, different guys kind of hot at the moment? Well, I mean, they've all played uh, three games ago. Pods and Chase on played with Miller in the third period, and they were the best line on the ice. I mean, uh, last game I didn't think that line was very good. So we're just moving things around and see where it works. See see what works. Bruce, you're hoping that Brock was going to skate yesterday. Did he skate? Where's the situation with Brock right now? Well, I mean, he skated hard today too, uh, but he's out. Um, he's got an upper body injury and. Uh, I think he's gonna. He'll be skating again tomorrow, uh, but he's not definitely not playing tomorrow. Do you think you'll see him at all during this home stretch? I hope so. I mean, I can't. I can't tell you. I'm, I'm not a doctor, but I mean, uh, uh, you know, if he could play, he definitely wants to play. What, uh, what has surprised you, or what have you taken notice of with with your captain's play, Bo Horvat? Career career number of goals for him now this season, playing underneath you. Is there something that you didn't know about his game that you now know? Coaching him, uh, you know what I mean. He's he's got some great talent. I mean, I think it's just now he's being. I mean, the last twenty games he's being way more consistent with it. You know, I mean, uh, there's some games. You know, early on you go, wow, this guy's fabulous, and then some games he's not there. Uh, but I think that goes with a lot of guys. You know, and and when he's consistent, he's been consistently good lately, and uh, uh, and it shows in his numbers. And it doesn't matter. What wingers you've put? I've put him with every different winger I think on the team. So I mean, it's, uh, uh, it's when he's going good, he brings people along with him. Oh, it's, uh, Pearson, any update there? Um, no, he's still got an upper body injury. He's skating, but uh, uh, he's not going to be playing um, this. I'd say this week. Bruce, the other day I asked you about Oliver and Larson. Um, and you said you felt that he was going to be even better next year than he was this year. What gives you that belief? Well, it's just it's me thinking that uh, I've seen over the years that when a guy gets traded and he's been on a team for a long time, his first year with that team is an acclimation period. And uh, uh, once he gets uh, used to them, he becomes the player he used to be. And uh, uh, so you see a lot of guys getting traded in their first year. They're going, oh, what do we trade for him for? Or what, you know, he's not as good as I thought he was, but then they become who they are. And that's why I think, I mean, it's a, uh, it's a, the second year of a trade. It's also uh, of a young guy. The second year is a lot of times is a bad year. I mean, uh, for different reasons. But uh, I think, uh, I think this time next year, he'll, you know, you'll see I mean, he's playing really good for us right now, but I mean, I'm just saying you'll see it right from the beginning. Do you apply a similar philosophy when you go Connor Garland next year as well then? I would think yes, very similar. Um, uh, you know, like, I mean, it's tough. Like, I mean, when you're used to doing things in a certain way, in a certain organization, and you come in, there's uh, a lot of, it takes It takes a while to get adjusted. It's new, not only new teammates, but it's new, it's a new world, you know? So. Rookies often get buried in the bottom six. They don't play a lot of minutes, maybe eight to ten a night. You've been a proponent that rookies, especially a kid like Pod Colson, needs to play more. He needs to get some minutes. You don't not only need to get a read on him, but he obviously needs to get his game in order and start feeling good about himself. How much do you think that general escalation in minutes has brought him where he is today? I think it's in, uh, helped, helped with his confidence because he's a guy that if he makes a mistake, he really takes it to heart and it, and it bothers them. But uh, um, when you play more and and you have success while you're playing more, I think he's been playing very good recently. So I mean, uh, uh, it really adds to your confidence. So I think he's excited about playing every game and not worried about, you know, it's it's almost like you're not a rookie anymore. I mean, he's played 70 games. So I mean, it's, it's, it's uh, he's just excited to play because he knows he can get the job done. Yeah, all yeah. set one game and then you had Mm -hmm. set one game just to get away from the ice and see the game from a different aspect what's impressed you the most about from that time to today with Pod Colson because you were talking about the four check this morning and you weren't very happy about it Pod Colson seems to play through people is that just a, a strength thing or well, a he's big thing? and strong I don't think people realize how strong he is and I mean 
but it, and when you're young, the one thing you can do as a coach is program the guys to do what you want to do. Some once you get older, sometimes you you feel like you can, you know, you're you anticipate. You just say, hey, I, yeah, I know he wants me to do that, but I can do this. And but the young guys, uh, they're pretty easy to program. And and with him, like I mean, the more minutes he's played, he knows if he keeps it up, uh, he's going to keep getting those minutes. So it's all good. What specifically did you need to see from him? You know, you've, you've well, you know about what, getting confidence. You know what? I, I, the thing, if you watch him now, he's he's handling the puck. I mean, he's getting it. He's he'll deke a guy. He won't just get it and dump it, or he get it and give it away. I mean, he. When I say confidence, it looks to me like like when he gets the puck in the neutral zone that he thinks he can beat a guy. You know, and he and he's shown some. You know, some. Uh, 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 Toe curls uh, in the last couple games, and which just tells me he's he's feeling good about himself. And uh, Lockwood, you seen there? Well, he's just he's just getting acclimated to the NHL game. I think he's he's played better the last few games. I mean, the first couple games, quite frankly, he was he works his tail off and does all of those things. But it was like, well, where do I go? Where do I go? What am I doing? What am I doing? But now that you've had a few practices and uh, he's knows what he's doing. It, it makes it a lot easier for him because he can skate and he, you know, for a, not a too big a guy, he's, he plays pretty physical as you saw last game and he's not afraid to uh, not only hit a guy but when somebody challenges him to pick up the challenge. And Ben alluded to the fact you had to kind of crack the whip a little bit out there at practice. Uh, is that just an indication of the stakes and everything that's... It's a couple things. One, uh, when you take one picture day, you're in your uniform for a long time and when you have an off day the day before, it's always a slow start. So, I mean, uh, it looked like we were just lethargic and everything else. And uh, so, I mean, you know, when you're, when you're practicing in that certain drill that you're talking about, it was about a four-checking drill. When the, other, when the defensive line can get the puck out without being touched, you know, you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. So you just, like, I think they picked it up a lot more once I yapped at them a bit but I mean uh, and that's what you want is you want that competition every time you're doing that kind of practice. Some appreciation for Alex Chason and uh, his path and what he's giving you right now. Well I'm certainly very happy for him and you know when I, I you know I mean and what he's gone through and you call it the path like I mean uh, when you're on a Stanley Cup champion uh, when he was in I think it was Washington uh, and uh, you know, I mean, you know whether you play it or not, don't play. You know what it takes to win. And he's got his opportunity. He's not 21. He's seen it. And he's going, hey, this is my chance. And he's, and he's taking full advantage of it. I mean, uh, uh, I was thinking, I was trying to count the points up that he had last week. And I'm going, geez, he might be one of the stars of the week. I don't know how the rest of the league went, but, I mean, I think he got – seven or nine points or seven or eight points last week, which would, which would be really great reward for him. And I, I hope he, he gets it. I don't know when that announcement comes out. It probably he already has, and, and he didn't, right? So anyway. Uh, but anyway, I mean, I, I, you appreciate a veteran guy that's big and strong, and, and he's getting some success now after, like, I mean, there was four or five games in a row. I sat him out and everything else, and he never sulked, uh, never complained. He just knew when he got his opportunity he was going to make the best of it, and he has. I know you've been asked about Bud Colza, but when you have young players or Lockwood trying to find their way, is it helpful to have older players like Chase on who just come in and do the work and Absolutely. And I mean, if I'm a young guy, I'm looking at him going, here's a guy that he's just never complains, but he goes out there and he does his work every day. And, and uh, it's just that's part of being a good teammate. And, and that's one of the reasons teams are successful. Like, I mean, they usually have 12 of them, you know. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you.